Magandang araw! Ako si Patricia Tumulak ng Push to Read Project and welcome to my channel. Ang babasahin natin ngayong araw ay ang Bakawan! Alam niyo ba na kilala ko yung isa sa mga sumulat dito? Iniidolo ko siya. Siya si Miss Kathy Untalan. Isa siyang environmentalist, isa siyang beauty queen, isa siyang reporter. Naalala ko nung sumali ako ng 2008 sa Miss Philippines Earth. Isa ako sa mga nanalo. Ito yung binasa naming libro. Kaya hindi ko rin ito makakalimutan. Alamin natin ang storya ng bakawan. Ano nga bang ibig sabihin nito? Tara, samahan niyo ako magbasa. Bakawan Story by Catherine Yu Ontalan, Rina Ray De Leon Sarmiento, May Astrid Tobias, illustrated by Van Zeus Allen Bascon. Different animals live in Bakawan. In the water live small fishes like dangit. Under the roots, you can find talangka with hundreds of shrimps pushing against each other. On the high branches of trees, birds like tagak build their nests. Bayawak is also often seen walking around the muddy grounds of Bakawan. Animals lead peaceful lives in Bakawan. Their resources are bountiful and their habitat is safe. Among all the animals, Tagak is the most curious and most daring. He is fond of traveling and flying to faraway places, even to areas beyond the boundaries of Bakawan. He disappears for a few days, and his friends often worry about him. Every time Tagak returns home, the animals gather around him to listen to his stories. There was this huge ship full of people. The music was loud. The people were dancing. They were on their way to an island where there were more people having fun. They threw this. And Tagak showed them a plastic bottle. Talanka pinched it. Bayawak bit it. What is this for? asked Tangit. This is where they put their water, answered the Gak. They drink from it. Water? But we are surrounded by water. Why do they need to put the water in a bottle? wondered Tangit. Tagak left for another journey. This time he brought home a shiny plastic bag. What is that for? asked Tangit. I don't know, but I find it pretty. I will hang this on my nest as a decoration. One day, while the animals were talking, Bayawak arrived with a big gash on his tail. What happened to you? Tangit worriedly asked. Talanka looked at the wound of poor Bayawak. I saw something like the bottle that the cock brought home, said Bayawak. I tried to get it, but I did not notice that it had sharp edges. Oh no, said Talanka. The, the same thing happened to Dangit yesterday. He said that there were too many of the shiny things that Tagak had been bringing home, and now they were floating on the water. He almost got caught inside one of those plastic bags. It was fortunate that some shrimps were passing by and they helped him. When the animals gathered, everyone came except Tagak. Our home has become unsightly, said Dungit. It has also become unsafe to live in, Bayawak said as he showed his wounded tail. It wasn't like this before, Talanka said. Why don't we restore it the way it was, asked Dungit. I agree. Let us dispose of the things that did not used to be in Bakawan, suggested Bayawak agreed that they should clean up Bakawan. They began picking up different objects that were scattered all over Bakawan. They searched for something that could contain the bottles, plastic bags, and cans they collected. 
they saw a big net and used it as a container. While they were picking up trash, they saw something floating in the water. It was huge with patches of white and black. They went closer. It was Tagak. He was unconscious and his feathers were covered with thick black liquid. What do you think happened? They wondered as they brought Tagak back to Bakawan. The animals divided the responsibilities among themselves. Some of them took care of Tagak, while others continued gathering the trash. Tagak woke up a few moments later. I saw a ship, he told them. There was a black liquid leaking from one side. I went closer to look at it, but... I got stuck to it. It was heavy. I couldn't fly until I passed out. The animals shivered from fear, and they all thought that they should be careful of this black liquid. At last, the animals were able to gather all the trash scattered around Bakawan. They placed everything inside the net. The problem was, where would they bring all these? They carefully thought about it. What if we submerge them underwater? What if we bring them to the farthest corner of the forest? What if we just let the waters wash them out to the sea? It was Tagak who thought of a solution to their problem. In one town, there is a place where people segregate their wastes so they can reuse them, he said. Plastic bottles are gathered together, cans are also gathered together, the same thing is done to plastic bags. Then someone collects these and recycles them into containers, even use the materials in entirely new ways. The animals agreed to bring their trash there, and so, Tagak assembled all the other birds and even bats. He asked for their help in carrying the net filled with trash. One night, while the people were fast asleep, they brought the net to the area that Tagak described. And when they got there, they themselves segregated the trash just like the way people do it. Bakawan was restored to its former beauty. It was clean, safe, and bountiful in resources. From then on, the animals no longer collected trash. They maintained the cleanliness of their community. Sana nagustuhan niyo ang kwento at sana may napulot kayong aral mula dito. Huwag tayong magkalat. Itapon natin ang mga basura sa basurahan at sa tamang lalagyan. Okay? Maraming salamat sa panonood. Huwag kalimutang mag-like, mag-share, at mag-subscribe sa aking channel. Kung may gusto kayong storya na gusto nyo basahin ko sa susunod, mag-comment lang sa iba ba. At sa mga gusto mag-share o mag-donate ng mga aklat o libro, email nyo lang ako sa pushtweetproject.gmail.com Supportahan natin ang mga Filipino writers. Maraming salamat ulit. Hanggang sumulit!